in your car. All right, so what we're gonna do is all you grab this and you bring it back and then we just continue until we get it into this position and then we'll just tighten down those two lugs there and there and then click our lock-ins in place. So lighting in situationally, this isn't the best, but you can see I've unhooked this side already so that I can kind of come in here and tighten, which if I can focus on that instead of my arm, tighten down the screw thusly. You know, once we get it to a point that I can say, all right, so I've over tightened that side, so we're gonna loosen it up a little bit. And then what we're looking for is that we can fully engage the locking mechanism here. So we're just gonna drop that a little bit, loosen it a little more, see we've almost got it. And then you just, you continue to play with it until you find your sweet spot. So I will show you the end product so I don't fiddle with this around the camera so you're staring at my own. Here we can see they are locked into place. There is a very fine ballet that you have to do. If you see right here, there actually is a channel and you kind of wiggle back and forth between both sides to screwing them in and finding just the right tension to lock these in. You don't want them overly tightened, but you don't want them so loose that the handle's gonna jiggle on you. So you just kind of work it from side to side until you find the sweet spot and then both sides will engage and your handle will be in place, as you can see there. Next, using the included hex key right here, and again, apologize for the lighting. I don't have optimal lighting in my garage. Using the included hex key, you can take these two screws out. They do come with a washer. And then you take your snow chute, which I will back this out a little more. You just take your grooved portion here, line it up towards the back, and slip it in. And this way your hex keys will line up there and if you want you just kind of make sure that it's moving the way that it should be it says all the way to the left all right so next we just tighten them down again with the hex key and we'll be good to go and there we go the snow chute it's fully assembled and attached and if we come over here a hundred percent rotatable so really the only thing that you have to install is the snow chute the rest of it comes assembled and you'll be good to go. And just as an aside, as long as you are careful, you can actually totally close this up and store it with the snow chute still on. So you can hide it in whatever corner you want to save on space in your garage. So that's a plus in my book.